morning eric holscher here tempe arizona my bug guy pest solutions look at that beauty crawling up the wall you know that is just a amazing roach look at the gymnastics the elasticity of that roach i mean it's just amazing i'm out here treating a, a property in tempe down here you can see where the block wall meets the soil because of the heat the soil has actually kind of pulled back from the wall with the moisture in the soil. And so I treated a crack and crevice treatment here around this soil. And over here we had a bunch of roaches just coming out of the woodworks earlier on. I wanted to get this video going here. Oh, oh my gosh, look at this one right here, guys. Oh, look at that beauty. That is a beauty. Look at that. You get over here. I'm gonna catch that sucker. You get over here right now. I got him. I got him, guys. Oh, oh, get over here. I got him. I got him. Look, look at that. I got him right here. We just caught this thing. He was moving pretty quick. What a fast mover. I just sprayed the cracks and cra Oh my gosh, look at this one over here. Oh, that is a beauty. That's a sewer roach there, guys. And so, um, I mean, they're just in down in the cracks and crevices and the moisture. Say hi. Look at that beauty. And here's your relative right here in my finger. I got you, sucker. So anyways, um, we're just... Uh, moving around here treating this property and there's just a bunch of roaches great food source for um the scorpions and the black widows and so you can see why you know there's quite a few uh you know bugs in this area oh my goodness there's a, there's a runner right there we got a runner guys look at that runner right there okay he's a runner yep he's been affected by the spray i've been using so he's just trying to get it off and look at him that's a big old sewer roach down there yeah you're not going to run too far oh my gosh there's another one right there look at that we got another runner right there another runner <laughs> oh yeah yeah say hi to the camera there anyway so we're seeing a lot of these roaches coming out from what i've been doing in spray and this one right here my finger is really trying to to get loose he's looking at my finger look what's coming out of his mouth see that he's puking his guts out so i'm gonna get rid of that one there running up the wall and then we got another one right down here and he's gonna die shortly it's just amazing they're just coming out of the woodworks man or should I say the soil works because they're coming out of the soil anyhow I'm uh, just taking you guys on a tour here just uh, showing you what we're catching and killing over here and um, I got some traps I'm putting out some glue board traps see how many we can stir up you know and catch so anyways just wanted to show you guys that there but uh, it doesn't hurt to touch these roaches you know, sometimes I'll grab a couple scorpions by the back end of their tail, pick them up and just kind of show you what they look like. And we got another one right here, another little baby roach. Or not really a baby, I think it's an adult actually. That one is moving quick too. Well, he'll die soon or she'll die soon, I don't know. Didn't get close enough to look at if it was a female or a male, but anyhow, I'm just gonna move back around over here. I'm gonna show you guys something really exciting that I seen when I started uh, spraying earlier on here over in this utility room um i found some black widows in there and uh, a bunch of crickets and so we're gonna see if this widow is probably dead almost now i would think but it's right down here let me see here if i can get it to come out yeah it's right down there see it see the widow She's right there it's just basically dead and that right there almost looks like a a leftover remnant of a male black widow looks like he got eaten by the female she was hungry so anyways let me see if i can get this in here look at that huge ant antenna from a roach no i'm just kidding that's not an antenna if that was an antenna from a roach we'd be in some trouble let me see if i can get this black widow out of here come on you guys are probably like man what are you doing man that's crazy that's a black widow web and i'm like yeah i know it is but it's dead that widow is not going to do anything there she is look at that Look at that beauty. I mean, that little lady right there, if she bit you, could inflict some serious pain and damage. But, you know, I mean, she's dead. Look, she's dead. See right there, you're probably thinking, oh, it's going to bite your finger. No, it's not. Anyways, uh, it's dead. So that's a good thing. So, apparently the products work that I'm using. Otherwise, that spider wouldn't be dead. I'd hate for one to just, like, fall off out of up here and drop on my head and take a good biting to my neck that would be painful i'd be in some trouble then i'd have to probably go to the hospital 
Uh, not with COVID. They'd probably just turn me around and say, you know, you're just going to have to do it yourself. Treat yourself. But down here also, I'm looking at all these little pavement ants over here. They're all over. Going to put some bait down for them. Take care of business. So, anyways, guys, just wanted to show you what I was doing out here today. I'm going to do a, a live stream for a black light service here probably this week. May do the live stream on it. And uh, we're going to be looking for scorpions. We're going to do some scorpion hunting. Going to show you what they look like at dark time. I'm sure some of you have seen how they glow in the dark. A neon green color. So it'll be pretty cool. We'll get that done. And just kind of show you what it's all about. I mean, you look up at these big date palms. Scorpions love these palms. I mean, they're just all up in there. These cracks and crevices, joints in the walls. They love this type of stuff. Remember, they're thigmotropic. They like tight, confined areas. And they like it dark. So, you know, big old date palms probably housing, you know, I don't know, dozens of scorpions up there. And the same with this one up here too. So anyways, guys, uh, Eric Holscher, my bug guy pest solutions. Hope you enjoyed this video. And uh, you can look me up at line at my bug guy pest solutions. Find me on Google, Yelp or Bing. Or you can call me at 480-233-2674. All right, guys, talk to you soon. Bye.